So the first thing we talked about when in electromagnetism was that there is charge. And in particular, there are two types of charge, which we call arbitrarily positive and negative. The main things that you want to uh, remember about charge is that there's, uh, hmm, there's an echo here. The charge is conserved. It's uh, neither created nor destroyed. It's also quantized, which means it comes in integer multiples of a basic unit of charge, which is the charge of an electron or the charge of a proton. And uh, that elementary charge is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, where coulomb is the SI unit of charge. We talked about conductors and insulators as uh, two different, very different types of materials uh, in the way they respond to electric forces. So uh, conductors are materials in which charges are free to move. They, that means they can rearrange themselves in response to external forces, external electric forces. In insulators, charges are not as free to move, so they do respond to external forces as well, but differently, and we will see more about that uh, in later, um, starting today, actually, in talking about dipoles. Okay, and the main thing to remember is that uh, matter is largely charge neutral, that means it has equal numbers of the two types of charges. So not that it has zero charge, but it has an equal number. Okay. Now, when we charge objects, there are two ways to charge them, charging by induction and charging by conduction. So charging by conduction is charge transfer. So I charge something and I touch something else, so this charge physically transferred from one object to the other through touching, through contact. But you can also have charging by induction, which is to say that I can charge an object, and I was just trying this out. So here's another example of charging by induction. Since you had, you were trying to Okay, suppose I have a stream of water, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's deflecting towards, not working that well. It deflects towards the charged object, that's charging by induction. If I had a camera, you'd see it better. So the way charging by induction works is that you're not actually touching the object, but by bringing a charged object close to something, especially for a conductor, you're causing charges to reorient themselves, to redistribute themselves, such that the same type of charge as that on the object you brought close wants to go away from it. And if now I touch the other side or ground the other side, that excess charge that has shifted there can move away. And now if I remove the charged object, I'm left with a net charge. Because some of the negative charge has gone, it has net positive charge. Okay. So this is as opposed to charging by conduction, where if I touch the object, the object would have the same charge as the, charged, um, as the charging rod. Okay. 